Turning to cricket on the Sports Mag Zone, we have a special guest in studio. He was part of the West Indies squad that beat the United Arab Emirates recently, but is not a member of the unit taking part in the ICC Cricket World Cup qualifying tournament, which begins on Sunday. The West Indies taking on the United States of America in their opening game. Now, this all rounder was part of the Gujarat Titan squad for the 2023 IPL campaign and will play for the Guyana Amazon Warriors in the Caribbean Premier League, which begins August 16. We're speaking of Jamaica and West Indies player Adil Smith. Adil, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the Sports Mag Zone. First of all, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I've been doing good for a while now, and I hope it continues. Yeah. Is, is that because of all the money you're making? No, no, no. <laughs> what? Listen. I, I, I got a, a little break. <laughs> you got a little break? Yeah. I, I always love to hear about where it all started for players. Um, so I want you to tell me about your initial introduction to the game of cricket. Well, I have a lot of uncles. Um, I have like nine uncles. Say um, what? Yeah. They, they used to always play cricket on Sundays, yeah. so I'd go with them and play cricket on Sundays. Um, and it went from there to high school. Um, I didn't want to play in high school because I was afraid of the ball, because I used a softball with my uncles. And look at what um, you do now. Yeah, so <laughs> I started probably like in grade nine at school. Yeah. Um, I thought it was quite easy. The ball wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Yeah. And you know, everything, you know, came on from there. And, and you're from St. Elizabeth in Jamaica, right? And, yeah. and you can help explain how massive cricket is in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Maybe the entire western end, but there's something special about cricket and St. Elizabeth. Yeah, cricket in St. Elizabeth is like cricket in India. Um, you know, it's played on a daily basis. Yeah. From Sunday to Sunday, somewhere in St. Elizabeth, somebody's playing cricket. You go somewhere, you see some kids on the road and, you know, they're playing cricket. Um, so, you know, it was that like that for me also, um, you know, seven days a week. Um, I'd be playing cricket, probably hitting stones or something by myself or on Sundays with my uncle. So and it's a game that they really love. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, I have a lot of family there that plays the game also. Um, so, yeah, very special game in country. And when, when did you realize that you were in love with the game? I think when I was playing with my uncles. Um, oh, from that early? Yeah, so it was like a, it's like a family, family bonding thing for me. Um, you know, it's the only time I could get them to come together. Um, my, my uncles especially to come together and play some cricket. So, you know, it started as, you know, a family bonding kind of event. Um, you know, I saw that. You know, I really like this game. Um, you know, so, you know, I went to, as I say, High school, yeah. then from there played for Jamaica and yeah. West Indies are 19, and then the rest. But before we even get to all of that, right? So, like you, I'm from a, a rural community in, in Jamaica, yeah. and I remember growing up in St. Mary, where cricket is nowhere close as big as it is in St. Elizabeth. And on Sundays, we would all go to the playing field and we would have a game, and the entire community would be out. And, and, and watching us play, and it would just be this big, massive event. In fact, where I'm from, I'm from a farming community, mm. and uh, my uncle would not allow his sons to always be out playing. They had to be in the fields um, getting some work done. But on Sundays, they would always be allowed because it was this big community yeah. event. W was it that way for you as well? Yeah, even my mom would be playing sometimes. Yeah. My mom and my aunties would be playing sometimes on Sundays. Because, you know, that time nobody's at work, you know, so everybody's at the cricket ground playing cricket. Yeah. So we'd have like three games on Sundays, one where <laughs> the ladies are involved and one where, you know, my uncles and everybody else could play. Well, that's really cool because yeah. I think that has a part to play now in our West Indies women because from that time, of course, from your mom days, because 
you're talking and it reminds me of when my sister started to play cricket because we would play on the road in Trinidad, right? Yeah. On the middle of the road, we'd use like those tin that come biscuit tins as the wicket. Sometimes people drive and drive over the biscuit tin and go on with the tin <laughs> and you know, you're bowling. So you're talking about your experience, but it's so similar in different parts of the Caribbean because back in Trinidad, it's also very, very similar. Because I think it's not everywhere in the Caribbean you'll have a cricket ground. Um, yes. I used to play on the road also. Yeah. Um, so, you know, whenever I go and see my friends, because the, the cricket ground was in my community. So when I went and see my friends, you know, we'd play on the road sometimes. And what's the name of your community again? Smoothland, St. Elizabeth. Smoothland? Yeah. yeah. Which other big cricketer comes from Smoothland? Darren Powell doesn't live that far from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to ask you though, how's your reception in your community now? Because you started as a regular player playing on the road. Do we still see you playing on the road now? <laughs> Well, not really. Um, I'm planning to go home tomorrow. Um, yeah. So hopefully I could get some cricketing, cricketing this weekend. Yeah. yeah, and your introduction into the West Indies setup because, Odin, you've made a name for yourself. You're a role model now, not just to your community, but of course to the entire Jamaica and the Caribbean by extension. Yeah, um, you know, I think you know, I've inspired a lot of um, kids, especially at my school. Um, you know, there's not a lot of sports people to come from Magati High School, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I think I've, you know, really inspired um, some of the, you know, kids there. Um, and I think, I think hopefully we could get some, some more cricketers, you know, bigger than me to come from, you know, my school back, back in St. Elizabeth. You play for my team, Godra Titans. I've been cheering for y'all entire IPL. It's unfortunate that you didn't walk away with the title again. But how was that for you? And Hardy Pandya as your captain, I, I, I enjoy watching him play. I looked at him as a leader and yeah. you got to play for him. IPL has always been good for me. The past two years I've been there. Um, it has been somewhere I've learned a lot, you know, a whole lot, you know, going to IPL. I um, mean, I've learned a lot there. Um, they have, you know, all the facilities, everything you could do there. You know, I could bat for five hours per day. And it's like, because we have people to, you know, facilitate all of that for me. So, you know, I didn't get to play this year, but um, this year for me was better than last year when I played. Because, you know, I did a lot of work on a lot of things. Um, you know, I saw where I've, my game has elevated um, just by training. So, you know, I think, you know, it was very special for me this year. Um, Hardik, um, great captain, and a great individual overall. Um, you know, somebody somebody you could you know sit and talk with. Um, but you know, overall, he's a great person, great role model for Indians also. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not letting you go anywhere yet because we have a lot of questions, and Ricardo is eagerly waiting to like give him back the um, the baton okay. to ask you. <laughs> so we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're keeping him. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.